Hey guys, uh, here we're going to continue on with the graphing lessons and we're going to discuss slope, what does it mean and how do we calculate it. Uh, hopefully uh, you'll, and these are some examples that you guys may see in real life and you don't even really understand that it's a slope, but in actuality it is. Simply stated, slope is just how much one quantity changes compared to another. Uh, in a direct relationship, that slope is going to be constant. So let's use an example that you guys may see uh, at work. So say you make $8 per hour. Actually, that $8 per hour is a ratio of money and time. So, and it's really just a slope. So let's take a look at this graph over here to the right. Income versus time. So your total money, if you work for one hour, you'll make $8. If you work for two hours, you're going to make $16. Three hours, $24. Five hours, 32 And so on. So if you look at this graph, the amount of time starting with zero, and if you work zero hours, you probably won't make any money at all. So let's uh, plot this point. We learned how to do this last uh, lesson. So, we have this graph here with a uh, pretty, pretty straight line. Now, the ratio is what's constant, and that's what I want you guys to understand. So, in one hour, right here, you've uh, gone right on the x-axis, which is the time, one hour, and you've gone up $8. So that's what the slope means. And if you work another hour to work a total of two hours... You've made two hours and made $16. Of course, we're not uh, incorporating taxes in here. But the ratio is always the same. So that, if you worked, and same for three hours, you made $24. So if you look at that ratio of, of uh, t uh, money to time, you can see that you get that ratio. And it's the same point, let's say we're comparing from one to three hours. So in this in this two-hour time span, so this two hours, you've made $16. Same thing if you, were, if you calculated it from uh, uh, three to four hours, the same slope here for a straight line. In that one hour, one hour, you've made $8 because it's from $24 to $32 uh, dollars is $8. So $8 per hour, that's what the slope means. The, you're changing money over changing time. So um, we can also, using a graph, one can calculate the slope with just two points on this graph. In this example right here, this graph represents the total cost of a cell phone bill with a base service charge of $30, and you're paying per minute. So using this we can actually calculate uh, how much our slope is, just based on any two points on this graph. So let's say, if, um, let's use a couple of good points. We have, uh, after 100 minutes being used, and this is uh, your uh, cost in dollars. Let's give title. Time in minutes. So at 100 minutes, your total bill is $40. So we have this point, 140. And let's say at, uh, six, uh, at se uh, 600 minutes, we have this point, 600, uh, our cost is uh, $90. So we can use these two points in order to calculate our slope. So a lot of times you'll uh, refer to this as what we call the rise over the run. The rise is just your change in your y-axis over your change in x-axis, and that's the slope formula given down here at this point. Uh, that's probably something that you've seen in your math class. So let's discuss this. So our rise is just our change in our y-axis. So our change in our y-axis, you go here, it's gone up from these two points. And to calculate it, you take, it's just your difference. So this 
point here represents where 90 is and your cost. And it's gone up from 40. So that change in your y-axis, that rise, is just a, uh, 50. So you've gone up $50. And over the course of, let's say, what's our run here? Our run is our difference in our x points right here. So this distance here represents the change in time, so which is our x-axis. So we've gone from 600 to 100 minutes. So that distance is just uh, uh, 500 minutes. So our slope of this line, our change in y over change in x, our rise over our run, or in this case, our slope means something in cost per time. So $50 per 500 minutes is simply stated as uh, just 0 0.10 cents a minute or 0 0.10 dollars per minute. And if you can get your units from just looking at what we calc how we calculated it. So our change in our y-axis, which is cost, we've used the units of dollars. Our change in our x-axis is time in minutes. So the unit is going to be dollars per minute. Um, so if we, you could also use the slope